MySQL in our BLOSS tables but files exist. I have a MySQL inob which has all the database table files, but MySQL doesn't see them, and isn't loading them. The problem happened because I deleted these three files, ibdata1, ib underscore log file 0 and ib underscore log file 1. Because I was having issues with MySQL starting up, and what I read was to remove them because MySQL will just regenerate them, I know I should have backed them up but didn't. What can I do to get MySQL to see the tables again? Here is why MySQL cannot see those files. The system table space, ibdata1, has a storage engine specific data dictionary that lets an ob map out potential table usage. Moving an ob tables from one place to another requires commands like. Here is a part of the MySQL 5.5 documentation explaining what needs to be considered. Portability considerations for IB files. You cannot freely move IB files between database directories as you can with MySQL table files. The table definition stored in the Anob shared table space includes the database name. The transaction IDs and log sequence numbers stored in the tablespace files also differ between databases. To move an IBD file in the associated table from one database to another, use a rename table statement. Rename table db1.tbl underscore name to db2.tbl underscore name, if you have a clean backup of an IBD file, you can restore it to the MySQL installation from which it originated as follows. The table must not have been dropped or truncated since you copied the IBD file because doing so changes the table it's stored inside the table space. Issue this alter table statement to delete the current IB file. Alter table tbl underscore name discard table space, copy the backup IB file to the proper database directory. Issue this alter table statement to tell Anod to use the new IB file for the table. Alter table tbl underscore name import table space. In this context, a clean IBD file backup is one for which the following requirements are satisfied. There are no uncommitted modifications by transactions in the IBD file. There are no unmerged insert buffer entries in the IBD file. Purge has removed all delete marked index records from the IBD file. MySQL has flushed all modified pages of the IBD file from the buffer pool to the file. Given these caveats and protocols, here is a suggested course of action. For this example, let's try to restore the tags table to the mid database. Step number one. Make sure you have backups of those dot from and dot IBD files in slash tmp slash anodb underscore data. Step number two. Get the create table tags statement and execute it as create table mid dot tags dot dot dot. Make sure it is the exact same structure as the original tags dot from. Step number three. Delete the empty tags dot ibd using MySQL. Step number four. Bring in the backup copy of tags dot ibd. Step number 5. Add tags table to the Anod data dictionary. Step 6. Test the table's accessibility. If you get normal results, congratulations you import an Anod table. Step 7. In the future, please don't delete IBDATA1 and its logs. Give it a try. I have discussed things like this before. April 23, 2012. My sequel, How to Restore Table Stored in A. From an A. 
IB file? SEP 28, 2011, How to Recover in an IB Table Whose Files Were Moved Around Caveat What if you do not know the table structure of the tags? There are tools to get the create table statement just using the dot from file. I wrote a post about this as well. How can extract the table schema from just the from file? In that post, I copied a from file to a Windows machine from a Linux box, ran the Windows tool and got the create table statement. I've seen situation cannot drop or create specific full name. My fixed procedure is Stop my SQL Remove if underscore log file 0 and if underscore log file 1 Remove pull name files Warning, this will permanently delete your data. Start my SQL. I had this problem too. I deleted iData1 accidentally and all my data was lost. After one to two day search in the Google and so, Finally I found a solution that it saved my life, I had so many databases and tables with huge records. Take a backup from slash var slash lib slash mysql. Recover table schema from, dot from, file with dbsake, there was another option. Mysql from. But it didn't work for me. Create new table, with new name, with exported schema. Discard new table data with this command. Copy old tables data and paste it instead of new one and set write permission for it. Import data to new table. Alright. We have data in new table and we can drop old one. Check slash var slash lib slash mysql slash database name and if there is data, dot ibd, file, for old table, delete it. And finally rename new table to original name. If you want to support the channel, Please consider subscribing.